was a kid, if this, if they told me I would be able to split my screen in half, I would have freaked out. I'm like, what? I only thought rich people could do this. Hello amigos and welcome to today's video. And today I'm going to show you guys 10 MacBook life hacks that you need to know because nobody knows them except for me. Okay, that might be a lie, but you know, not that many of us know this. At least I didn't before I discovered all of them by myself. With the help of Google. Let's just begin. Grab your MacBook and follow along, guys, because you're going to want to do this. Number one, watch videos at the same time as doing other things on the computer. Now, this is a benefit for every student out there. So what you need to do is you go on your computer, go on YouTube, and I usually just watch David Dobrik's videos and the whole vlog squad because yeah, I love them. So what you need to do is you take your mouse, hover it above the video, right click once, right click twice, and then click on the picture in picture. Now this tiny little screen pops out, which you can make bigger or smaller totally up to you I usually keep it at a medium size because I'm a medium girl <laughs> uh, I don't know what that means but okay so we have this thing and now you can do your schoolwork or do whatever you need to do at the same time as you can watch videos on YouTube by the way this video was amazing by David uh, so funny that's great right but for some reason when I tried this out the first time I couldn't right click so this is kind of like a, a hack within a hack so what you need to do if you cannot right click for some odd reason is you go on the very top you click on the Apple logo and then you go down to system preferences you click on that now when that pops up you're going to click on the trackpad which is this thing and then this thing pops out and it used to be set on the click uh, click or tap with two fingers it used to be set right here and then I couldn't right click and I didn't know why but this was why you have to click on the click on bottom right corner here at the secondary click it you need to be at the point and click by the way make sure you're on there and then that's it and now you can right click which is great because it's hard not to be able to right click you know and this has been my problem for years guys and then you can exit out of course and you get back to this normal number dos split screen this is huge for all of us tech nerds out there and also I've always wanted to do this and I never knew how you can see there's a red button which X's it out and then there's a yellow one which makes it smaller and then there's this green thing and I never knew what it was apparently when you left click hold then you go down and you just release this pops out oh my god I need to blur so much oh my god you go to the right side and you click on whatever you want to do so since I'm a good girl I'm going to click on the study here we are with my this is my online lesson guys this is the teacher manual I'm not supposed to see this <gasps> dun, dun, dun. oh my god the answers are all there ah. so I have this and now I can study at the same time as I watch David Dobrik vlogs yes. you can make it bigger you can make it smaller whichever side is more important so we do know that this side is more important Jason Nash and David Dobrik yes and then you know we have this tiny tiny screen of my uh, schoolwork which I mean that's fine click on the screen make sure to click on the right side or whatever side you want to zoom in on and you take your two fingers and you zoom zoom all the way to will like look at this this is some futuristic stuff guys like when I was a kid if this if they told me I would be able to split my screen in half I would have freaked out I'm like what I only thought rich people could do this now if you want if you don't want this split screen anymore don't fret guys what you need to do is you just click on the green button error again you just tap on it and then it's back to normal and then you go back to your YouTube and you, you can do whatever you want again number three customizable duck you're like a duck no not the duck quack, quack. the duck the thing at the bottom of the screen now you might have seen this in some other people's MacBooks I used to see this a lot when I was in graphic design school and I could not understand it because why did my MacBook now do this so look look doesn't that look amazing oh my god I love that oh my god so to be able to do that you go into system preferences 
which is up here at the Apple logo and you click on the dock now you click on it and then you can choose whatever you want so it's totally up to you how you want to do this do you want them to be tiny you can barely see them though I would hate this I would hate that oh my god I hate it already but I mean no judgment if you like it but you can make it bigger bigger and bigger and bigger I like mine to be huge because I mean I have good eyesight but I just like it to be huge then you can also make the magnification smaller and bigger so let's say they're just small then it's just like this kind of like boring and like okay then you can make it max and it's like bam bam and then you can also make it go to the left go to the right or go to the bottom I like it at the bottom I don't like it when it's on the left or the right I have very specific preferences as we all have which is why this is amazing number four instantly find the meaning of the words I often read articles and I have no idea what they're talking about because a word pops out and I don't understand it because I'm I haven't graduated from college yet let's read about cats because cats are cute so you take your three fingers kind of like you're doing the girl scouts on our and then what you do is you hover above the word you do not know which i have no idea what this thing is suffixed what the heck is that i don't know so you take three fingers and you tap now this thing's come up and you're like oh my god so suffix is a morpheme added to the end of a word to form a derivative and then you're like what the heck is a morpheme and then you you need to google that too you know <laughs> so i don't know if this really helped me because i don't know what that is either yeah but that's just one example oh there's a swedish word catapus i know it sounds kind of strange but okay yeah it, it it kind of means like you know kitty cat tap on it once with three fingers latin the language of ancient ancient rome and its empire and then you can also go down here and click on the wikipedia learn more about latin there go to the app store i don't know why i would want to go there oh learn more it's in danish guys because my app store is in danish i don't know why this yay for learning number five instantly find the dictionary so this is very similar to the last one we did so what you need to do is you go above a word let's say we don't know the word word right so we click Control command d and the same thing pops up it's the, exactly the same thing as the last thing but you might want to do it this way you know there's different ways for me i just like clicking it with three fingers because that's way easier but you know up to you guys number six zoom in on wherever you want on the screen because sometimes our eyes cannot read so let's say we go down here and we click on what's let's read about kittens guys because i'm bored with the cats now you know all right oh my goodness a cute cat let's zoom in on her okay let's do that so to zoom in at the spot you take two fingers take your mouse above the kitty cat and you double tap and oh we can see her cute in the face or he i don't know but she is so cute and then you can go down and see another kitty and then you can go down and see another kitty and another kitty and then you're like okay i'm bored with the kitties so you double tap again to get back you to your original size number seven a shortcut to the special characters so if you're like me and you know several languages and you need to write in other languages or you just want to write Beyonce you know <laughs> then you need these special characters so what you need to do is let's say you want to write Beyonce beyond and then how do you write the E right you cannot just do like that you hold the E and then this pops out now to click on whatever you need to do you can either click on the whatever number which is below the letter so for me it's E so uh, which is number two or you can also get it another way by holding E and then actually going and going ahead and, and clicking on it with your mouse or you can also hold in the E and use the arrow to go to the E and then click enter and then that's it let's say you want to say something in Swedish like jag and then you hold in the a so that you can get to the a which is number four you can click on the four jag elskar day or i should write jag elskar er i love you guys or we maybe you want to write in danish and you're like jai 
Spisa. Pulse. Pulse. P. And then you hold in the Ö. O. I mean the O. You go to the Ö. Click enter. Jag spisa pulsa. This one is huge for me because I used to have to go up here, click on the Swedish, and then I would have to click on the comma to get the uh, you know, and that's just too much work. Number eight, emoji shortcuts. This I use on a daily basis when I answer you guys' comments because I like adding in emojis. So to get the emojis, it's quite simple. You just click on the control command space. And then this fabulous thing pops out. So that's super easy. You just command, control, space. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Number nine. See all the tabs. I had to Google this before because I had no idea how to do this. And it drove me insane because I was like, how do I see all the tabs? Because I grew up, guys, with the windows and I, you could easily see the tab. You just take your little finger, use whatever finger you want, your nose maybe, and then you click on the F3. All of the tabs pop out. And I basically have to blur everything uh, on the screen. I just showed you guys everything important in my life. Okay. Then you can also up here see your desktop and then Google Chrome and you can add more. If you want more desktops, you can actually have several desktops in your desktop. So if you want to like go back to normal, you just click F3 again and you're back to normal. Number 10. How do you see the desktop? You just take your thumb and three fingers and then you take them to the trackpad you put the both of them together and then you pull them apart like separate the two from each other just like so and when you do that this pops out and you can see everything and i'm sorry the way, i don't know what you guys can see right now because i probably have to blur a lot I don't know what you guys can actually see, but then when you take your two finger, uh, when you take your four fingers, the three fingers and the thumb, and you pull them together again, then it all goes back to normal. And those guys were all of the hacks I know, and I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it's helpful because I feel like YouTube videos should number one be helpful or oh, helpful, helpful or entertaining, and you know. I hope it was at least one of those. Please go down below and subscribe to this channel. Art and Beauty Freak. And yeah, I really enjoyed today's video. I love doing tech related stuff. You guys, if you guys want more tech videos, then make sure to tell me because I love making them. I love you and I'll see you the next time. Adios amigos. Ooh.